Sports. Welcome to the, to the Foot Daily Update, guys. My name is John Sims, and I want to say I apologize for yesterday's episode. I actually took it down because so many people were coming. Oh, the audio is bad. It's not bad. It's just a megaphone, but it was an effects, and I so I I sincerely apologize. Uh, my cat stepped on my FX, turned on the megaphone, and then I didn't see it uh, during pre-recording, and I was running behind, as you guys knew already. So first off, I apologize. Let's go ahead and get into the comments that were there for us yesterday. I actually ended up taking it. I, I put it on private uh, just because I just saw so many people talking about it. So I, uh, I apologize, but let's go ahead and get on into it. Also, <clears throat> Okay, also does rivals on Thursday lower informs in gold fodder and how does new inform affect old inform? Thanks, John. Does rivals lower informs and gold fodder? So whenever we ruler, whenever we see supply, whenever there's a supply move, think of it like this. If you have if you have five cards, right? And then you take one away, but you still have five buyers the value of the demand of those four is really high, right? But let's say we have five buyers, the demand does not change, and then we add five more cards. Now there's 10 cards for five buyers. That means the demand the demand doesn't move, but the supply increases. But the, the value that the, the commodity of those cards keep the prices low or keep the prices lower because there's just more of them. And so the idea is that whenever we get packs, that that commodity increases. So we get more supply. So when we have more supply, prices come down. That's that's basic market 101. But the but the idea behind how does new informs affect old informs, it has to do with the SBC value. And it's the 100% the uh, now some don't affect the others just by the law of supply because if you only have x amount sometimes they stay up to 20 25k and they never come down because they're just so few on the market that they're <laughs> exhausted they're extinct right and so there's that there's that side of it but realistically if they're, they're going to be at the base value of their market and so if you go to that like uh, if you go to my in, the inform cheapest players you can see where the base value is and typically they stay down around this around this price range but when new players come in those go out of packs but there's still a ton of supply because people are trying to sell them and so some people can't get them sold and they don't want to sell at the base and so or they don't want to undercut because they you know they still want to make some coins or they have them in their clubs yada 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 or they're holding on to it and they're invested in, and they're invested like you guys are and so they're waiting for it to go up and then a bunch of supply comes and it drops and so there's a lot more supply than people may realize because it's out of the market and so when new informs come in basically all they do is they create substitutions for the SBC market therefore creating more supply as well and different uh, variabilities and different links uh, as well being part of the SBC uh, requirements therefore prices come down so it's basically has to do with more supply than demand it has to do with supply over demand that's essentially all it is so whenever whenever we get supply basically the law of supply says the more we have of a commodity the less valuable it is against everybody and that's why I like things like water is so cheap to the world is because there's so much of it that it's one of the cheaper resources, but in certain areas, you can't get as much water. Therefore, it's a little bit harder. It's more valuable in certain parts of the world than and somebody that lives on the ocean doesn't care how much water they need because they can just go and get any. So that's kind of the idea. I invest in roof. I hope that makes sense. And I'm just pulling that right off the top of my head anyway. I invest in roof. Do you think he'll rise? When do I sell? Anytime you hit 10%, you get a return. Just remember that you need your next investment lined up before you sell is typically the case unless the market is bold and there's SBC demand, there's all this demand and before supply, uh, before a supply wave comes. So the idea is that anything over 10% is greed and you should easily hit 10%, get your next investment lined up, that's when to sell. So uh, just know that if you're holding for a 50, 100% return, that's when you get greedy realistically if you bought at 11k 12k you should be looking to sell no no more than 13 5 14k but the idea is that you could maybe wait and get 15 16 17k but the problem is you may wait too long therefore 
more supply comes team of the season comes boom you get hit right so there's all those different factors first and so yes sir yes sir all right all right all right uh when is the best time to invest in the higher rated golden market loving all the tips mate just shy of a million coins now i'll listen to you thanks a lot keep the great work steven i appreciate you brother uh you're gonna want to you're going to want to just pull it i would not invest into the high market until like the first day of team of the season like the first 24 48 hours of the team of the season and then you're going to want to go all in uh because that's probably going to be one of the more one of the uh biggest drops uh on the market now i don't think it i i think it will pop after a couple weeks just because some people are just like eh, i don't want to spend that much money anymore or i don't want to buy that packs or the hype goes kind of goes away and so i would wait and go in on a tot's day so if you have any fodder i would probably get rid of it so basically the algorithm is by sunday afternoon not necessarily hold till wednesday friday and sell fodder nah, kind of and for promo cards buy them on thursday six days after sell Mm, maybe not thursday yeah well, during rewards maybe sell them on saturday they go up a lot or stay even so that's so that's a very broad statement because there's a lot of different variables that we pull in that's why you come to the foot daily update because i try to help you out with you know new supply curves coming uh if i see leaks if and so i have a source of information between the following so i can you know we can create community here and so that's essentially the point of the video and so we try to help you through this but basically buy something afternoon now i've seen this season is uh any time from friday to sunday there could be one of the bigger dips because they've been releasing sbcs on saturdays and sundays and so sometimes the friday uh right when people get their first hit they you know they just finished they get their uh weekend league you know uh, what's it called the first 10 game rewards and then some people just play them all on friday and so some people get a, we get a hit with supply on fridays so really friday saturday sunday is kind of our buy period uh but then monday tuesday is really like the safe sell period wednesday is like that mm, maybe we can risk it type of period and then thursday is typically kind of like an initial dip that's kind of when we're just kind of like wanting to see what we're going to invest in and so friday saturday sunday you should have your investment you should know your investment by by at least sunday right but that's kind of the idea i mean um me personally but the but realistically you can always you could be flipping in between all of that on the on the bollinger band up and down up and down up and down all day long and be making more coins than buying like on a sunday and selling on like wednesday and so it just it, there's and there's different value like different factors like a uh, hold hold till wednesday friday and sell fodder like you know promos come out sometimes uh sometimes like team of the weeks people actually buy in team of the weeks and so supply hits and so I just say I it's 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 hard to say it just it depends on the SBC demand but that's that's a pretty good way to look at it it's a pretty good way to look at it uh would delete inform be a bad investment right now uh I think it would be an okay investment um what I I have readjusted some of my I've readjusted some of my thought process on it and I think that um i would i think the high meta market is or the high inform market is very risky right now until tots so if if tots are coming and you buy in if they go up five percent i would just get rid of them i would just i would just make sure i get my i would recoup my coins and get out it's better to be out you're gonna make more coins and have more buy power by being out of the market more in this this area than being in it in my opinion however who knows they could absolutely fly up and they in ea drop a banger sbc right on promo day so who knows who know i have no idea but but typically from the past that's what it is invest around one mil into roof and when can you expect to go up price uh well you just sell it anytime you hit 10 percent, man um one mil 10 percent is 100k you think about it it's pretty good right it's pretty good um they naturally they will naturally what or what are they trading at right now if you bought them at like 11k like i said they're already at 13k they're already at 13k that's uh that's pretty dang good that's pretty dang good 13k 
that is pretty dang good right and so that's actually if you think about it if you bought it at eleven thousand when we when we told you uh, essentially to um that's uh that's pretty dang good so i would go ahead and th i would go ahead and hit it but um just make sure you have your next investment lined up i always say it's probably best to be out of the market right now just because everybody's gonna go crazy but so I'm, i would be flipping i sold my all my lucas training as 1.2 feels bad whatever profit is profit great video by the way hey ultimate i appreciate it brother yeah so that, like, that's a that's a part of trading man is but you would rather be like oh i missed the excess than oh i lost coins you see the difference and so that's part of our that's part of this trading strategy to become be a consistent trader in this game is because it's really hard to time the peak and time the base right and so or and so it's really hard to time the peak in the bay or the peak in the base right and so if we buy up on this way trading up and we sell underneath we take off five percent of a standard deviation we're over, we're always hitting money we're always hitting we're generating just cash into our accounts like pop pop as long as we don't try to risk it and but the thing about it is sometimes that market doesn't just stop right there and we sell like right here sometimes that market will pop and we're still selling here and so that's where you gotta risk it to get the biscuit type of thing but that's where you know you want to find as much information as possible to go into the next uh trade or hold on and that's why i say holding through content is where the, we incur risk but that's also where we can make coins big coins so that's that is 100 up to the trader seller keep right now i have around 50 84s and 2081s 50 84s and 2081s I mean, I, I, it depends if they're golds, they're, if they're gold, I would sell, I would sell any gold right now. I, I could, but if they're in forms, I think as long as they're near that base value, if 84s are near 12, 12, five, 13 K, I think that's very safe. 81s near 10, five, 11. I think it's very safe and just wait for them to go up um and and sell them on a margin where you feel is is comfortable but just know that when tots comes there's going to be a big dip and so they the market will be suppressed most likely during that time period especially depending on what team of the week comes out on promo release i have 100 roofs by 11k when do i sell i hope no a yeah so um when to sell i mean that's the thing you got like i i always say 10 percent. i mean i just I, I don't know how to reiterate i don't know how to reiterate it uh enough but anything you hit 10 percent, i don't like to be the dictation of of like when to sell because i you know i don't want to i don't want to tell someone no you should hold on to 15 20k and then next thing you know they get suppressed at 11k they get suppressed to their base value since uh for for two weeks and i don't want to be that i don't want to be that guy that tells you something like that because that's where i say you may have had the op opportunity to sell at 15 20 25 30 45 percent but i told you you go to 50 55 percent it just never hits and then boom guess what you get hit and so that's where when i see that market start to dip something like that when i'm heavily invested like that that's where i go in and i i i i purge i purge my i purge my my i get in i get out and so whenever i start seeing those signals that's when i get out and so um i would just say whenever you're over 10 percent, you should you should be you should be monitoring thoroughly um and at at content and right before content so it's like from 5 to 7 p.m uk you should be like zoned in on your account because like at 5 p.m uk you that might be the highest point they are for the next like 48 72 hours right and then right at 6 p.m so uh, you know maybe sbc pad comes out maybe or uh gets uh pulled off the market or something like that whenever there's sbc demand out of the market that means that there's less demand right and so that means that prices come down so there's so many different factors variables that that can articulate this and so um i always just say 10 percent and um keep up keep keep grinding with this i know you're around us i know you're here all the time and my guys i just really appreciate you guys commenting but yeah 10 percent. i'm telling you 10 percent is the consistent way to trade you will always make coins if you hit 10 percent. always always can't lose what would the best gold common filter for the 81 plus player picks it's yeah it's Filipino. thank you brother yes sir yes sir there's there's 
it, there's no best filter there's good filters but there's no best filter because every fill every single time you buy and you sell a player technically you create competition for yourself moment slam or bellingham oh bellingham bellingham man dude that bellingham card is insane but moment slam is good but bellingham is insane man i that's one of my most hated players i play against Investing in roof and there is there is no 80 rate influence next d but how much should he rise i have no idea i have no idea uh he this this is very 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 smart uh flannel pino man it's almost bro it's almost like you're in a, it's almost like you've listened to her or it's almost like you're in my head now man but yeah uh that's the thing once you hit 10 percent though is it's it, you should start thinking about it and uh just know that the market could be suppressed all around and it could drop it massively um <laughs> john in fact uh thank you guys thank you. yeah see like 14 people when like oh the, the audio bro the audio bro is bad like guys you're just so picky god dang it just a megaphone hey john i currently have 30k and i am wanting to get over 100k before tops any tips my gold common method man gabriel check my gold common method check my gold common flinto i absolutely love that you're in the comments like that man i absolutely love it check that low budget tutorial man you you, you should you should be able to make 100k and you should be able to make 100k in, in two hours if you do it right if you do it right so should i sell or need keep um i think it depends yeah it it, it marcus it totally depends it totally depends um if you're in the gold market i would be out if you're in the low 81s or 84s like i said yesterday i think you're okay but i don't think a lot of the el everywhere else in the market is going to be decent uh anything that's impacts definitely not thank you only muscles i really appreciate it. god is that you speaking <laughs> first so all right guys uh it is just right at 6 p.m uk we're just about to hit here five minutes till so this will be coming out a quarter after so you'll see the daily foot update by 7 p.m uk today so uh as always guys uh keep grinding we'll see you guys soon thanks for watching